All right, what is going on guys? It is a new day. The headlights are finally dry. Uh, it's after work, so they had a long 12, 24 hours to dry. You know, they still look pretty poopy, but at least they're a little bit better than before. Let's hope that they still turn on. So I gotta, I gotta test them real quick because we want to take it on the private mountain real quick just to see how the car does. Uh, it's probably not the smartest idea because I have a welded diff and I also don't have any tire left, but you know, YOLO. All right guys, quick update. I'm actually dumb. You're actually supposed to have the bumper off when you put the headlights in, so I probably should have left the bumper off and then, yeah. All right guys, test if they work. That should be on. How many of them work? Oh my God, they work. It looks like a- Wait, that one, that one's pointing, that one's Dude, like, like a, that one's like lobsided. It's like a lightning bug in a jar. Yeah. That's what it looks like. So they do, so they do work. Um, this one, this bulb's actually held in by a cotter pin. That's why it's a little lopsided, but it's okay because it works still. Um, here, I can angle it. You can angle, oh, there we go. We're moving it as we speak. <laughs> so, this is a lesson, guys. If you don't use cotter pins to hold in your light bulbs. You zip tie this yeah, well, I was actually, that was my second choice, but. All right, guys, we're gonna do the next best thing. We're gonna zip tie in this headlight to really secure it down. All right, guys, the headlights are a little, I need to replace them, but you know, it, they'll work temporarily. I know everyone here is judging me and thinks, you know, I may, yeah. Yeah, they look, yeah. Yeah. They look good, bro. All right, everyone here is capping on me, man. Say they're bad, but you know, I'm not jank, guys. I'm an innovator, like I said. I just come up with new ways to, you know, mount, you know, find solutions. Bro. All right, man. You know, the zip ties will do the job, right? Oh my God, guys. My whole entire dash, Christmas tree. Oh my God, guys. My whole entire dash, Christmas tree. Squared, bro. All right, we just can't get our cars to run right, man. Yeah. What's with that? Might have like traction issues later. Yeah. What? I'm not in the red gear. I didn't know we were. Dude, I didn't know even know we were racing. I was trying to get a roller of them. Oh my God! It's the return. Holy. I know that guy. All right, what's going on guys? We're back in the 350Z. Uh, we're going on a little private road run just to see. I've never really driven this car on a private road. I drove my old HR like many, many years ago, probably like six years ago. Um, so it's been quite a while. And last time I was also like, I was like a teenager. So uh, I almost died. All right guys, also I want to let you guys know that my bumper is held on by zip tie, so. You know, if you guys hear a loud thud or crack or something, that's probably my bumper. Or it's the motor blowing up. I don't know. It's probably one of the two. Dude, I don't know if I should be sliding, obviously, within the lines. Um, you know, I don't want to cross the double yellow. Or I should be handling... We almost... I almost just crashed because Ethan stopped hella fast. There are some like geese in the road. All right, well, uh, save hashtag save the ducks, I guess. Guys, I'm not linking this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm ass at, I'm ass at drifting. I don't know what Ethan, okay, I guess Ethan thinks we could like link this. There is no way in hell I'm, I'm linking. I'm, I can't even slide one turn. All right, guys, we're uh, gonna attempt to slide a corner over there. I don't know if we can do it or if we have enough power to. I mean, I do. I just don't. Hopefully, I don't go in a limp. I just don't have bars, so we're gonna... We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, with my, yeah. With my 130 horsepower. It's a beautiful creek here. There's cows grazing in the fields. I think you need to scando flick it. What are you doing, dog? Bro, it's just easier to reverse back down. <laughs> I recognize this bridge. So something else happened on this bridge. Look at these idiots. 
How did that, how did that get there? Recording, don't worry. Is that the legend himself? Dude, one year hiatus. Holy post, post I more, post, no yo, post hey, more on yo, YouTube. Griffin, you should post more. Yeah, you should post more on YouTube. You post more, Forte. post oh, more. Hey, like Fortoge, post. 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 All right, guys, time to get out of the private road. Uh, I think our permits have expired. <laughs> Okay. All right. These these are bad headlights. All right. <laughs> They're not good. I'm gonna show you guys real real eBay spec quality headlights. <laughs> no. There's actually no, no way. You have to let them warm up. You have to let them warm up. It actually looks way better on the camera. Now turn yours off. Now Eric Griffin. <laughs> okay. Wait. Now turn his off. Now mine are, warm, are warmed up. <laughs> Look at that. Mine, mine's Dude, a wider spread, crazy. guys. It's a wider spread. Would you guys rather have long and narrow or like short wide, and wide, short and girthy and wide? All right. He's hey, yo, 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 yo. You should upload more. <laughs> I think that's four. Is that, that's, is that? That's four toge. That's four toge. I know that guy. That's four toge. <laughs> I'm Suchi. Wait, yo, yo, yo. Where's the, uh, where's the S13 drift build? Can we get a build? picture? Can we get a picture? Guys, come on, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, from, from a handling perspective, I'm obviously not cooking it right now, but like, it does pretty well. Like, the welded diff just means that both axles are locked and rotating at full force, you know, because the gears are locked. But, you know, I feel like what, maybe when you're going like really fast, it affects it, but honestly, at this speed, it just kind of feels like a normal car. All right, guys, we made it home. Hold on, let me hit it with the power locks. All right, guys, we got back from the drift session. I got these brand new speakers. This is the most money I've ever spent on speakers. I spent $85 on them because the previous owner said that this current Z has upgraded speakers. Uh, oh, you want, you want, here, oh here. can I get the upgraded speakers? Yeah, oh, shit, thanks, bro. Yeah, um, previous owner was capping a little bit. Not gonna lie, these are $5 flea market speakers. So I don't know what upgraded in, you know means to him, but yeah, these are pretty garbage. It also wasn't even plugged in or wired in, so I don't know. Feel. Oh wow! All right, guys, this is this is what I've uncovered. Another two. I don't even. Oh, there's kill mat at least in this one, but the wiring job is not great. Um, it's held in by two two self-tapped screws, so we're not doing much better on this one. I'm not gonna show you from this, but guys, holy what? Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Are those just like twisted together? Dude, no, they're just completely frayed and they're like t just <laughs> stuck together. All right, guys, we're trying to find a lighter to uh, light up the heat shrink to make it shrink. Uh, we unfortunately, none of us smoke in the house, so we only have this one <laughs> funny ass <laughs> modified lighter that we made into a flamethrower. So, yeah, I'm gonna turn that down. Yeah, a let's, bit. let's hope it, let's hope it works. It's like straight up touch. That's crazy. Yeah, that's bad. How does that even happen? I don't know. Do my flea market speakers. Eric, careful. Let me, let me, let me hook you up. Okay. Thank you. Right, guys, well, Ethan's gonna mount, custom mount this. I'm gonna work on the bumper. Don't mind me, I look a little goofy, okay? But you know what? Uh, this is a little bit unacceptable. And like, when I'm saying it's unacceptable, it's it's very much not acceptable. I thought I was gonna be whacked in the face with his bumper while I was driving behind him. Yeah, that's, yeah, they were kind of falling off. All right, guys, so we actually had to take off the door panel to uh, access the speakers completely uh, get all four bolts in and what me and Ethan realized on this door is that there's actually no tabs not it's a, just not one it's just completely self tappered in in four four different locations With wood torque screws sick what what do you want <laughs> oh my god I you know That's what 
The bumper was in there before, bro. It was good. And then the clips popped out. What is going on, guys? Next day, we're picking up the Integra today. We're at uh, Simon's shop right now. We're at Pandora, and uh, we pulled up with all the drift cars. Look, it's an old 350Z. This is the this is the new 240, so yeah, but there's- And a slightly less old 350Z. Slightly less old 350Z. Um, yeah, and there's the uh, Integra front wheel drive, only front wheel drive. A little out of place, but you know, <laughs> we're here. Guys, look, I actually have an in Oh, it does a little sweep thing. Wait, ready, ready, Wait. ready? Yo, that's, that's insane. That's, that's never ever worked in this car's entire lifetime. Ever, not once. Oh my God, that has locks. All right, guys, no one can steal my car now. This is actually insane. Yeah. This is nuts. Dude, I've never had a working gauge cluster before. Do the, look, the dimmer works on The it? dimmer works? Bro, I've never even had a dimmer clock before. Clock works now. Everything the works. clock? Yeah. Dude. Defrost this is insane. Yeah. The car, it's never looked It's never good. had a carpet. Did I have carpet? I don't, carpet? I don't think I had a carpet before. There's a trillion wires. Dude, what the hell? There was like a million wires hanging out. I also ran the, uh, the USB cable through here, so it's all tucked in here. Bro. Oh my God. Guys, this is the nicest Integra I've ever Does this owned. this work? Wait, really? Yeah, you charge charging. I can have electricity. Guys, I've never had electricity in this car. I'm not going to lie. Like, actually. <laughs> and, I mean, last video, you didn't have a dome light already. Dude, work. I didn't have... Dude, out. nothing worked in Dude, this car. Dude, installed. The only thing that worked was the RPM gauge. Only thing that's that worked. That's it. That's the only thing that ever worked. Dude, this is installed, too. It's not just, like, hanging out in there. Now it's, now it's on there. This is... So, yeah, because someone tried to steal it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's like not surprising. I know. Dude, I might daily this. Wait, it has... Yeah, the lawnmower's not. You can even hit the lawnmower. Wait, wait. Start her? Okay. Oh my God. That we have power locks in a 1994 Integra. <laughs> Bruh, this is like, this is like a first of like, I've never seen that before. All right guys, so we're at Pandora. This is Simon. Charge no miss, no, no, miss, miss, no miss Industries. There's a ton of wiring with Honda. So if you guys want any wire, I mean, you guys saw how bad my wiring was. So, you know, he fixed that. So, and we couldn't do it. And it took us like three months. So yeah, so he did it in like a couple days. So anyways, uh, there are some bad things with the car, not related to anything he did but there's some things you discovered. Uh, like all this stuff was loose and all your wires hanging. We had the O2 sensors. Uh, both of them was actually like hanging. So yeah, I just kind of tidy everything up, uh -huh. um, just kind of clean it up. So uh, so basically I just drilled a hole and put this one back in. Oh, that's so that's clean, in there that's now. clean, yeah. yeah. Your intake was rubbing on the radiator hose, so okay. took care of that. This thing was leaking um, because I guess there was dirt underneath the seal, so I took it out and cleaned that and okay. we bled it uh, properly. The VSS, because remember you guys had a buck converter? Yes. So that's taken care of. This was actually held on by like solder wire or something. So yeah, we that was, oh, that was, that was a hair, that was a hairpin, that was me. <laughs> That was my bad. <laughs> yeah, that's, you can put an actual cutter fit in. Yeah, a real, yeah. real cutter. A real cut. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying it's a race car, man. You yeah. Know, Oops. You know. Yeah. Should have replaced uh, that. <laughs> transmission. You want to talk about that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Simon was like, "Why isn't it going into gear?" I was like, "I don't know." Yeah. And then he found out that yeah. there's there was there was no fluid in it. When we put a borescope into it, we could see material in there. So yeah. there's definitely some bearing damage, but it's not to a point where you know it's, it's not running. Yeah. But there is bearing damage. Yeah. So just keep in mind that you're probably due for a rebuild soon. Okay. We put in an MTF for one day, then we flush it out, and it came out just completely like tar, like black. Oh. Yeah. We found out that you have a leak on the pan. Uh, yeah. So that's probably from when you guys went off track. Yeah, kind of cracked it on track. Oopsie. I asked Eric if he want to replace the pan or what does he want to do? Because over here, we, we will replace it, you know, liability issues. Uh, but because... I said send it. Yeah. 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 So it would like coat it in like some JB Weld and call yeah, it Yeah, exactly. So I, I basically quickly put putty on there, like uh -huh. basically JB Weld putty. And yeah. It's cool. It's not leaking anymore. And I told him to do that. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we don't support any yeah. of that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but you know, this guy's into zip ties and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, we yeah. kind of just sent it. Yeah. Um, oh, hella bent it. Yeah. That's when we went off track. Yeah. When we yeah. went off track. Well, okay. When, yeah. When I, when I went off track on the corkscrew and I annihilated the underbody. Yeah. The toe arm is, is bent. Um, all the bushings are shot, but that has nothing to do with the going off track. That was going off track probably not due to my negligence. Anyways. Whoa. I don't even know what this is. Oh my god. Okay. Got a little RX-7 on top of the 240. This one's like stock though. It's nice though. Damn, this is, Griff this is actually a Griffin's old S13 for everyone wondering. They hella transformed it and put it on Blitz 03s. And brides. And they even put interior in it. 
and a new G25 Turbo. Bro, they probably dumped some money into this S13, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh! Oh! Oh, it's close. Sorry, I'm short. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whoa. That's so weird to see. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. Guys, after the transmission, after they put transmission fluid in, because I have no transmission fluid, it literally, it goes into gear so well. Look, it even goes in reverse now. Remember I used to struggle in reverse, guys? Look at that. Easy. All right, guys, just filled up on gas. Look, the gas gauge actually works. Okay, let me, oh! This is crazy. Oh my God, guys. It's so cool. The analog gauges, uh, maybe I'm just opinionated, but like it's way cooler. Watch this when you hit VTEC, hold on. I may have allegedly done a fat pull, uh, the previous clip you guys saw, and there was a, uh, oops. Uh, all right, guys, home, sweet home, where it's gonna live in the driveway also. Yo, what is going on, guys? Made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. Uh, gotta slide the Z around a little bit on the private road. Uh, it was really nice to kind of feel it out. It does still feel a little bit underpowered. Maybe that's because it's a D. I don't know from the videos. If anyone else has a DE with good uh, cam angle sensors, let me know if, you know, felt like it was powering out completely or not. I don't know. But yeah, it was a little unfortunate that I cracked the oil pan on the track. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Like, it's a, it's a racetrack. I was kind of going ham and went off. So happens uh unfortunately there's no steel pans for the integra for the k20 i meant uh the k20 z3 they're all aluminum so if i were to just replace it again i'd crack it once again so ultimate goal is to get a uh, rsx type s motor with the steel pan or a tsx motor the k24 with the steel pan so gonna have to replace that motor not because it's blown but because i want a stronger oil pan so if i go off or when i go off sorry not if when i go off track again it uh, won't annihilate it and I won't blow up the motor because I lost all my oil. So, ooh, also, if you guys saw in the beginning, we still do have the circuit jacks available. So, if you guys want to cop one, I'll put the link in the description down below. Uh, really does keep you warm. You know, maybe you're lonely up on the mountain. I don't know, out and about. Maybe you're in Alaska or something like that or Siberia. Keep you warm. So, appreciate all the support, guys. And uh, yeah, with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.